We can use this and this. Yep, we don't have to make a new texture. Maybe some overdraw, whatever. Let's attach these guys. sheets in it. I'll apply this here, grab all of the faces and give it number three. Okay, we don't need that anymore. We can hit this with an unwrap. Open the editor. Shit, which one is it? Maybe it's this one, yep. I'm gonna try to do it on one screen here. It's probably gonna piss me off, but that's okay. And here's my reference. So if I zoom in here, we got lines at the top, lines at the bottom, it wraps around. This kind of swoops out. It's got some circles in there, but I think I might ignore that. Same with up here. So I think I'm just going to use that lined texture on all of the parts. So I'm going to hit it with a planer for now. Then we're going to ignore the circle part <coughs> and just stick with this bottom part. I'm just going to break this off, flatten it. for now. I'm going to delete it for now and get rid of these bottom faces. Didn't know those were there. that planer again, move all this shit out of the way, grab this, break it off, I think this time I'm going to planer this one separately. be 
being a dumbass right now. this but now that I think about it this has like a curve to it so it might fuck everything up probably should have made this metal well, that's just stone All right, we're just gonna use the lines. Shit, shit, I got the whole thing selected. thing probably had a bevel after we get this UV laid out and so I think I'm going to do the same thing for the other parts here I might do the sides vertical do them all vertical. So planar map this guy. Flipper. Now maybe I'm gonna use the the round parts. I'm gonna switch this to vertex. Snap it down here. Scale it up. And just bring this up to the edge of our trim sheet. Check that size. That looks like it's gonna work out pretty well. Just to move and just kind of slide that shit. Turn off snaps. Probably put it right there. So that looks cool. Probably do the same for the front here. Boom. It's already pretty much planar, but I'm just gonna do it again. Basically do the same thing, rotate it on the side this way. Switch to vertex, turn on snap, put it right at the bottom. Switch back to faces. I'm gonna scale it down. So that's basically the same size. I'm gonna try to line it up here. Um, it's pretty close. I'm gonna scale it so that it matches 
basically perfectly because it'll piss me off if those circles don't match up. There we go. So I think that'll work for that part. The bottom might look a little weird. Let's see if we click off of it. Eh, I think that'll be cool. That'll give us some cool edge highlights. It might be It might work out once we bevel that stuff. Now is this part? That's part of the circle. Sweet. So we're gonna go back into our UV map. We're gonna start working with the circle here. So I think I want And do some tricky selection here. Actually, we're gonna first do the inside circle. We're gonna put it. We're gonna try to get a small strip, I think. Okay. I'm gonna planer that. Drag it out here. Grab one of the edges. Control B to break it. Then we're gonna grab it. We're just gonna hit flatten. Relax till flat. If I switch to checker, you can see that it's all nice and uniform. Um, I think that'll be alright for the seam. I guess I'm not sure if you were walking by it, you would... I want the seam to be on the bottom, actually, so we're going to planer that again. Grab... Ah, oh shit. Open that up. Grab that edge. Break it. Grab the faces. Slide it out the way. Relax to flat, flatten. And now if I check it again. Oh shit, I gotta switch off. It's all nice and uniform. So now I'm just gonna rotate it 90 degrees. There we go. Go back to our trim sheet. Drag this shit down. probably don't want the stones, but it might look sweet. Usual. Switch to vertex, turn on snaps, move, snap it. Grab the bottoms. Snap it. And just see what it looks like. So those are super stretched. I can bring it in and now it looks like it matches up for every two subdivisions. I think that will look pretty sweet. One thing that I could do is figure out which one is this edge, so it's not that one. So we'll deselect, turn off snaps and just drag this up. A little bit. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. Where'd it go? Let's see if we undo that last. Okay, now let's isolate this. And maybe it's better with that edge in there. Looks sweet. I gotta run to the bathroom real quick, so I'll be right back.
So I got some weird topology going on. I kind of just want to finish this project and not worry too much about this and just try to use the trim sheet to its full potential. We'll open up the UV map again. This is what I was going to do before I got distracted with the circle part. So I'm just trying to... Oh shit, that's going to be weird. Just select these ones separately. Oh shit. some phases I could delete after this. So it's gonna kind of piss me off. So we're gonna just break this off. Then we're gonna put a head of poly on top. Then we are going to delete that. Actually, yes, we are going to delete that. here. Zoom in. I think I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the, the lines for this part. It's going to go around the out circle and then around the outside on the inside parts and then these other pieces are going to go this way. That probably doesn't make any sense right now, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Go back into our UVW map. Forgot to deselect that, so we'll do it again. Then we'll hit reset UVWs because that kind of overwrote what we did last time. <clears throat> so we'll delete it. And these are the outermost parts. So I think I want to flatten these guys like everything else and if I click that they just spin in circles so it's not really gonna help us. Let's see if I can just do one. Um, yeah that's not helping either. Back to the planar map. I'll just grab the one. So that doesn't look so bad. I don't want to do this. So that looks like shit. Do this for all of them. Let's see what the hell am I trying to do? We want to lay them flat on this line. So I think. Do this again. Maybe if I do that. Okay, sweet. Sweet. Shift. Sweet. Sweet. 
Why would it rotate them all? Shit. Um, if I relax, it's probably going to crash, so let's save. Open that shit back up. Tools. Relax. Apply. 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 So everything's almost on top of each other. Turn off that shit. I think I need to break this part off. Break this part off. Now let's flatten that. Edge mode and just line everything up. <coughs> Try to do our best to make sure we're grabbing the right vertex vertices here. Snap, snap, snap it up. And I'll just do that same thing again. Flatten it. And then, wham, bam. Walked around with it enough. Drag it down here. Looks like we don't have enough geometry to make it look great. Perhaps I'm on the wrong edge. So we'll bring it up to here. Yo, Micah, it's a flux capacitor, bro. my calculations once this baby hits 88 miles per hour you're gonna see some serious shit flatten that bitch out flatten that bitch out Flatten them all out. I just did more harm than good there. I think I just want to squeeze these in here. like a background decoration. Now the other parts. We want to go in a circle. So we want this, 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 this. Break it. down on the lines. So 
Somewhere around there, that was good. We got our circle. We're gonna do this this outer edge here. And I think to do that, we're just gonna do a cylinder map. Like that. Object mode, slide the shit out of the way. Scale that down and then just put it, let's turn on some tiling. Put it on the lines. Where's the fucking line there? This one. Scale this shit down. Scale it out. Let's check that. It's probably going to be brutal. Actually, not too bad. I think that's good enough for what we're going for. Poly. There's probably too many lines in that, but at this point I don't care. And let's just see what happens if I hit this with a chamfer. Kind of looks like shit. Like, why does it have that texture? Alright, we're not going to do that. What we are going to do is scale this out a little bit. this out a little bit. Probably hit those bottom ones a little more. Just give it that kind of tapered look on the bottom. Isolate it, turn off. I think that's going to pass for what we want. We're also going to need just like a black abyss in the middle, which we could just do separately. Because looking at our reference here, where is it? In all the Elder Scrolls games, those little tubes are just black, so you can't see shit in there. So I think I'll just put like a black little disc in there at the end. <laughs> but I think that finishes this, and then it's also on this side, so I'm going to duplicate it throughout the scene. Throw it into Marmoset and see how it looks. I don't even know what to call this. Um, spider spawner. I want it to be kind of in the middle here. We'll give it a number. We'll save our work. Oh shit, turn off angle snaps, so turn it back on. Shift to be an instance. 
turn off preserve UAVs because UVs because we don't want it to get all messed up when we move it. Turn on snaps. Pop it up against the wall. Focus on it. Zoom in. Now I got two of them. So we can just select them. Let's duplicate them by hand for now. Get them all in there. Shipped. Check it out here. That one into place, and that means this one should be in place. Doesn't look like it is. So we will grab a different vertice. Snap that shit up against the wall. That still looks wrong. What the fuck's going on? Is this up against the wall? Yep. Here's the problem. There we go. Now I gotta fix these fuckers. I'm noticing an issue with my trim around the corner here, which is kind of pissing me off, but we'll let it slide for now. So let's get these into my set and see what they look like. Save our work. Export. This Marmoset FBX Spider Spawn -er. Spawn -er. Test oh, one. And it should have the same material. So when we bring it in, it should automatically look good. Save. Okay. Open up Steam. Launch Marmoset. Okay. Open recent. We already have this scene set up. Here's our old one. Our like placeholder. Let's fucking delete those. Import model. Spider spawner. They come right in place. Looking decent.
You can see some warping. It's because I don't have enough geometry on those pieces. But we have it inside Marmoset here and it's actually it's looking pretty sweet. Like the tapered look. You got them all throughout the scene. Uh, and yeah, it's looking pretty sweet. So if I go back to my camera one, we will do capture, image and open. Here's our render for now. There it is in place. Still got some placeholders in the scene. We're gonna need to make these pipes, these kind of pipes, pipes on the ceiling, and then really work with the lighting because right now it's pretty brutal. So what do we want to do next? Save this. And I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Just made that one piece with you guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I might hop back on later. We'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, until next time.